Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to connect Dropbox from MuleSoft. So in order to do that, we need to create a Dropbox account. So if you have already have one account, you start using that. I do not have any account. I'll just create a Dropbox account now. So I'll just go to Dropbox website. Dropbox.com And I'm just going to sign in and I'm just going to click the create an account option. So I'll just create a new account. I'll just give some name. And I'll just give email ID. And I'll set some password for this particular account. And I'll just check, click this checkbox and I'll create an account. So now the account is getting created. As part of this process of creating account, right? So we will also get some verification as well. So I'll just go with the default one. So there is an option here or continue 2GB Dropbox basic plan. I'll select that. And after that, it will uh, enforce you to download the Dropbox uh, for desktop app or a desktop application. So in, a, in order to do that, uh, I'll not do that for now. So what I'll do, I'll just remove this install and I'll just click this one so that uh, it will allow me to log in. See here, it logged my ID now to Dropbox. So now I logged in. Now what I'll do in order to connect from MuleSoft to Dropbox, we need to create an app first. So we need an app first. So you just go here or what you do is you just uh, change this URL to developers slash apps. So once you do that, it will give, it will come to this page where you can create an app. It will ask you to verify your email address. So I'll just send email for verification. I'll just go to my email. It's saying, please verify your email. I'll just click this option to verify the email. Once email is verified, right? Now you can just come to this page where we have clicked that create an app or where we are trying to do the verification, right? In that page, it will have an option to choose an API. So what we are going to do is from MuleSoft, we are going to connect Dropbox API using that API, we are going to drop the files to Dropbox. So for that, we need to create an app. So app, it will be tied back with your access credential. So we will be using that access tokens in order to talk to Dropbox. So you will choose an API. It will have a scoped access by default. And uh, what access you need? You need a full Dropbox access you need it. And what is the app? So I'll just give you uh, some name. This is the app name. Okay. So this is just to uh, identify from which app this particular request is coming. So I'll just say Tech Lightning Mule and I'll just select agree and I'll just copy this also. I'll paste it here. So I just create an account first and then I create an app with this name. Now I'll just click create an app. So now the app is getting created. It's created now. So once it's created, it's saying the permission type is scoped app and you'll have an option to generate an access token. Okay. So before generating access token, you just go to this permission tab where because we are going to in this example, what we are going to do is we are just going to write some content into folder. Okay. So you in this files and folder section, you select this right not this right this is for metadata you just come here this is actual content files content dot right so once you select this and you just submit it so once you set the permission come back to your settings and there is a generated access token option right you generate the access token it will generate the token and it will give you just copy that and what we have now we have token also so now what i'll do I'll just go to AnyPoint Studio. So now whatever you wanted to do in a Dropbox configuration, creating an account or creating an app or generating a token or uh, we have given a permission also. We set the permission as well. That is also done. So now after that we generated a token also. So that is also done and uh, token value we just copied in the notepad. So this is our token value. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a project in Studio. So for that, I'm just going to 
open any point studio in any point studio i'm just going to create a new project with a name called dropbox demo i'll just click finish so here what i'm going to do is in order to trigger this particular app i'm just going to use a http listener here using this listener i'm going to trigger this app so i'll just set the default port which is 8081 and i'll just give okay and this endpoint i'll just give it like dropbox this is a resource endpoint so using this url only i'm just going to trigger our app or uh, trigger our mule application and then we are going to add a module so if you have not added earlier so you have to go to search in exchange and click mule sorry you have to do dropbox so is search dropbox enter and you will be able to see the dropbox connector and then once you select it select it and you click add so it will come in the right side with the version detail and you just click finish so the dropbox user got added that is the connector now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to upload a file so there are a lot of operation like you can list the folder or you can delete the file in this sample we are going to upload a file i'll just drag and drop now we need to configure the connector configuration for our dropbox you just select this plus and you need a token and you need a app name go to your notepad this is your app name that is what we gave it in a dropbox right uh, while creating an app this is the app name we gave and access token this is the access token i'll copy that and i'll just do a test connection so now what it will do any point platform is any point studio is trying to connect your dropbox account and it's saying text connection is successful i'll click okay i'll click okay here so now the configuration required for the connector it's done and it's asking a path which path you wanted to write the this particular payload so what i'll do i'll just give any name for example i'll say test1 this is my folder and whatever the data is coming right i'm just going to write uh, my file name is my data dot json so this is what i wanted to write it and once it's done and i just wanted to use a transform message i'll drag and drop it here the final response payload right i just wanted to give it in a json i'll just convert this to json and here in the payload right i'll just give message colon file uploaded successfully so this step will get invoked only after the successful invocation or calling of this particular step so when we are reaching here that means the file has been uploaded successfully so that is why i'm just printing this message here now all is done and listener i'll what i'll do i'm just going to upload a file right so i'm just going to post some content so i'll just change this method to post method okay this is a post method and uh, general i'll change this display name also just to say this is a post method which is having an endpoint called dropbox so by looking at it we know so it's a post method the drop endpoint and it's going to upload the file for us i'll save it and i'm going to run this project so once we see the deployed status right i'm just going to run that from our postman this is application it's running in a specific port as a api which i'm going to call from my postman application i'll open a postman application i'll open a new tab i gave it like a post method so i'm just going to give a post method and my mule runtime which is running in a embedded anypoint studio which is running in a port call 8081 and then i gave the endpoint like the resource endpoint like dropbox okay so that's my endpoint so now it's a post method i'll just go to body which is my request body where i need to post the content i'll select raw here i can post some content so i'll just change this to json because i'm going to just post some json content only so i'll just take some json content sample from internet sample json data any data i'll take it yeah so there's a data here which is a collection and which is having a lot of object there i'll just take that and i'll just post it here so it's having a some color code details each color as i having some color codes so this is my json so this is what i'm going to post it before that i'll just go to my anypoint studio just to see my application is deployed or not yeah it's deployed what i'll do i'll just try to run this app and see what is the response we are going to get see here we got 200 which means 
our Mule application has received this request and it responded with file uploaded successfully, which means our file has been uploaded, right? So I'll just go to Dropbox. So this is our Dropbox and uh, I'll just go to Dropbox, the final, the home page of that. You see here, the test one folder is the one we created, right? This folder is getting, this folder created from MuleSoft application because in the application, that's a place because this is a new account earlier there is nothing was there okay in the test one we created with a name called mydata.json and if you look at the time it's a 1034 and it's my time okay so now mydata.json if i open that right the entire content whatever we have posted right that is the data it's coming so similarly if i wanted to change the data right or change the file name i wanted to post it again right you can do that so i'll just go here and I'll just change this to some employee JSON. Okay, so now I'll save it. So whatever you save, right? Whenever you save it, whatever the changed artifacts, it will get deployed into your Mule runtime, which is as which is coming as part of your AnyPoint Studio. So now the whatever the changes we have done for the file naming, right? So that's reflected and it's started the app. The file name I'll show again employee.json earlier my data.json right so i'll just take some sample from internet for a sample employee json data okay i'll just go to this website and take some employee data see here there is two employee data is there i'll just copy that and i'm just going to post the data okay i'll just remove this and post employee data which is having two objects this is one object is having two key value pair which is name and email is rom and another one is having pop right so i'll just send again see here it's 200 file uploaded successfully and i'll just go to dropbox right i'll just go to the dropbox window this is a test one folder see here employee.json got uploaded at my time 10 36 here also time is 10 36 if you open the data you will have the the two employee information which is ram and bob right so this data getting uploaded so this way we are connecting using the Dropbox connector. We are using upload file where we have configured the Dropbox detail, which is expecting your access token and also app name. And using this information, we are trying to connect to our Dropbox location and we are able to drop the file as part of this example. So we have seen only the upload. So you can try for the remaining operation. So only thing is if you want to delete right if the scope is not there then you have to go and uh, set the scope for example you just go to this access page right settings and if you don't know how to look for this access page you can type developer slash apps and load this one and select the app name and settings there and permission is there so you have to come to permission and if you wanted to delete is there any particular scope is there then or any other scope you wanted to additionally select right sharing you wanted to enable or any other things you wanted to enable you select it and submit it so once you submit right you come to settings and generate the token again so you have to if there are any permission is getting changed then you have to take the latest token and you have to put it in your connector configuration then only it will work otherwise you will get some scope permission and error so in this one we have done file upload similarly you can try create a folder or you can delete a file or you can download the file from Dropbox to your location, all those stuff, you can do it. Thank you. Uh, hi, thank you for watching this video so far. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this Tech Lightning channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.